Welcome back everybody to a new full workout video. This time, as requested by many of you, a weighted calisthenics routine for the upper body. Now, this is not something I usually do because my focus is on bodyweight training almost exclusively. But if you're curious to see how I do a weighted upper workout and combine the exercises too, then here it is. Enjoy watching. The list of exercises are dips with slightly over 40 kilograms, meaning 88 pounds, then narrowed incline push-ups with a 10 kilo vest, then regular push-ups with the same light weight, and finally two dynamic explosive push-ups and a bonus exercise at the end. I did four sets of maximum reps for each exercise. I still didn't get a proper belt for weighted upper calisthenics, so instead I used this chain around my waist that cuts my skin, but what matters is that for the time being it does the trick. You see that I am huffing and puffing throughout my reps, because it's been a while since I did heavyweight dips, and that's why it is not only difficult, but also experience a lack of muscular endurance at that intensity. Nonetheless, it's a solid and re reliable strength I achieved mostly from body weight dips and push-ups. And if I am honest with you, weighted dips and at high intensity are also a risk of getting injured. So it's not something I rush on doing or recommend extremely often. Perhaps it is one of the reasons why I rarely do heavy weight dips. And even when I, when I do it, then I keep my sets to 4 or 5, which is, if you ask me, pretty low. I recommend a pause between sets of 2-3 minutes and try to do at least 5 reps per set. Hence, you may need to adjust the resistance differently than I did. Any kind of extra resistance will work, don't worry about that. It only has to suit your strength and endurance. Then what is absolutely crucial is the form and the execution. Dips can surface some pain and the best way to avoid the outcome is by executing correctly with proper form and range of motion like you see me doing right now. Now, you don't have to break the sets and complete one, two more reps as I do, but I honestly am very confident in my body capacity to recover fast from set to set. That means I will not drop in strength dramatically from a point on and able to pursue my workout instead perfectly. For the final set, I completed 7 reps, 6 plus 1, and totaling 33 weighted dips with 40 kilograms. It's a good volume considering the extra resistance. It felt hard and a good exercise for the shoulders, triceps and chest muscles too. The following exercise, after a pause of 3 minutes, inclined narrow push-ups with an extra resistance of 10 kilos provided by, by my weighted vest. It's not much resistance, but this is what I got. If your vest provides a lot more, even twice as much, then that's perfect as well. I compensate, however, with more reps and that's why I did 20 reps for all the 4 sets, completing precisely 80 weighted push-ups at the end. But there is another way around it if you have a training partner. If you both do the same workout, then have him push your upper back with his hands, or otherwise just support some or his entire body weight on your shoulders. That's a good way to keep doing heavyweight push-ups. In this case, your reps will drop a lot and you will need more time to pause as for weighted dips. This is okay as well. My pause between these sets of push-ups was between 90 seconds and up to 2 minutes. 
If you ask me how many times a week I recommend weighted calisthenics for the upper body, let's say pull-ups included, then the answer is that it depends on your body capacity to handle the intensity, the recovery and to stay out of any injuries. If you can do that successfully, then train weighted calisthenics as frequently as possible. Is it working for strength and muscle gains? Of course, every compound push-up and dip movement will achieve that if you put in the work, time and consistency. What changes now is the difficulty or other said the intensity of each repetition. It increases the time under tension and the pressure or tension on the muscles, requiring a lot more powerful contractions than as for bodyweight movements. It's exactly why I always compensate for the need for intensity with either high reps or with total work volume, and it especially applies to bodyweight training. I and you both need a high stimulus to increase the strength, that it's relative to our power, strength and endurance. It doesn't work otherwise. We need it for power and muscle size. Besides that, in weighted calisthenics, volume matters as much as in pure bodyweight training. It's true that you can do the same amount of ridiculous reps when you go weighted, but that doesn't mean you don't exhaust, fatigue and burn out the muscles in that high intensity, which is what matters the most. And to achieve these results, you need reps. That's why I broke my sets and completed 1-2 more reps in that set to accrue volume, but at the same time I rely on my body capacity, as I, as I said before, to recover from set to set in a way I can still be constant with the rep interval, keeping it as high as possible, as you can see. Therefore, I'm trying to set an example here of how it's done, or at least how I do it, and I know it works 100% if patient and if you're a hard worker. If for some reason you don't have a set of parallels as I do, then try and improvise or simply modify the variation entirely as pleased. What I like about this specific variation though is the way my front side of the shoulder gets activated and works throughout the movement. Then I also feel very well the triceps and inner chest too. Breaking it down to 15 and changing the grip slightly, as you can see, to complete another 5 reps. I have more pushing strength with this last grip. The only downside is that it, it is very uncomfortable for my hands, supporting all this weight in my palms. Only a slight modification in the grip and positioning and the exercise feels so differently. That's why I always say that you should be creative in your training. The third exercise, another push-up variation, this time more of a regular push-up with a slight change in the grip, from a set to another, from a wider grip to closer, just to make sure I hit all the pushing muscles properly. It's another 4 sets of maximum repetitions and I managed to complete, as you'll see, 70 reps, 2 sets of 20 and another 2 sets of 15 reps. The reason why I did and chose uh, to do push-ups at a lower bar is that the vest requires a bit of space between my chest and the ground, as you can see, otherwise the range would be cut off a bit at the bottom. Perhaps you need a bit of modification to your sets and exercises by now. This also depends on the intensity you worked out until this third exercise. If your vest is of a lot more resistance or if you utilize instead resistance bands that generate twice as much resistance compared to my vest, then your reps can go as low as 8-12. Keep 4 sets but adjust the rep interval, pretty easy. In case your muscular and strength endurance is not that good and manage only one or two weighted exercises, by now you can make the switch to purely bodyweight regular push-ups and do as many reps as possible for each set.
the minimum pause you have to sustain from set to set should be no longer than 90 seconds, one minute and a half. And rest three minutes between the second exercise and this one right here. A quick mention, I launched the monthly membership program, so if you want to become a member of Old School Calisthenics and get active in the community, then just click the join button under the video and see what you can benefit from. Thanks! Can you observe that I constantly switch my grips? As I said, I like bringing in variety, but more so bringing in reps. So I broke the set to 15 and completed another five push-ups to around the number of 70 push-ups. This brings me to a total work volume of 183 repetitions, dips included. I like it. Now, let's move to the fourth exercise on the list, the last one, which this time is a bodyweight push-up variation, more precisely a dynamic one called clapping or explosive push-ups. This alone trains the explosiveness, meaning the dynamic pushing strength. It requires more power and stronger muscle contractions to execute correctly. I only did 10 reps for each set as I was already tired again another four sets and with a break time of about 60 seconds from a set to another. But you can extend it if you want and I recommend somewhere between 5 reps and 15 reps if possible. Let's say you can't clap your hands at all, then it's enough to powerfully push from the ground and slightly detach from it with your hands. It will give the same sensation as clapping push-ups, but slightly easier. After the fourth set, I accrued no more than 223 reps. It's a fantastic workout, I recommend it. You can also find similar routines in my programs and don't forget to check out my other full workout routines here on my channel. Now, I mentioned something about a bonus at the end and I was referring to another push-up variation, an easier one that can help you add even more total work volume if needed. Thus, here is the bench dips. If you want to do it, then complete another 100 reps in any way possible, just burn out the muscles entirely. So I hope that my workout was interesting and you learned something from it. Catch you in the next one. Salute!